once you define keep as a procedure, keep is a procedure. Higher order functions are plain old procedures. Okay? It's just that their domain is something special. So you can only have one thing named keep. And the fact that it's a higher order function doesn't change that. Yeah. Okay, you're right. So the question, the, basically the question, your question is about redefining primitives. Uh, primitives are not reserved words in Scheme. Yes, you can always redefine primitives. It's usually a bad idea. Right? I mean, if you redefine plus, you know, so define plus times. How much is plus three, three? Nine. Probably not what you meant, but yes, you can do it. And the same thing is true with keep. You can redefine it if you want. Um, here we're redefining it sort of the same way, so it's not so confusing. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't. How come pred doesn't need a question mark? The, the use of question mark, first of all, is just a convention. There's no rule built into scheme that predicates have to have question marks in their name. For example, the equal sign is a predicate that doesn't, it's, it's not equal sign question mark, although it could have been. Um, pred is a formal parameter. It's not any particular predicate. Right? I could have said pred question mark. Some people would have. You know, um, style thing, doesn't matter. As long as you're clear, you know, that you can use any formal parameter you want for anything. I could have called it X. Not a good idea, but I could have. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Is lam oh, thank you. Lambda and defined. Thank you so much. Okay. When I said before, define square x times xx, this is the notation I taught you last week for how to define a procedure. It's define and then something in parentheses. Well, now you're ready to know the truth about define. And the truth about define is, define with parentheses like this is just an abbreviation. What I really was saying here was just the same as you can say define pi, 2.14159, whoops, um, 5, 9, if we're going to define it, let's do it right. Define variable value. Well, that define with parentheses is just an abbreviation for define the variable square to have the value lambda x times xx. Okay? So if I do that, and now I say, you know, square 7, I get the right answer. So the, the sort of real hardcore define is much simpler than what you thought last week. It's define takes two arguments. It's a special form. The first argument is not evaluated and is a name, like square. The second argument is evaluated, and whatever value it gives you, that becomes the value associated with this name. So we evaluate the expression uh, lambda x times xx. What do we get when we evaluate it? Lambda x times x, oops, times xx. We get one of these ugly procedure things. That's its value. Um, and square has as its value that procedure that we made with the lambda expression. Okay? So that's the relationship between the define and the lambda thing. Lambda is the thing that has as its job making procedures. Define has as its job associating values with names. But there's this abbreviated form of define that sneaks in a lambda. And that's because, um, just as a practical matter, almost all the time when you want to define something globally like this, it's a procedure. So we just have this shorthand form for doing that. Okay? Yes. If I type number sign closure, is that what you're talking about? No, you can't. That's not something you can type into a scheme. Um, that's only something that SDK prints out at you. Um, 
we're going to see when we get to chapter three uh, why it is that procedures are a little ugly and they can't give you a nice printed representation of it.